We are in Microsoft Outlook 2016, and I'm going to show you how to create or edit a contact. So in the lower left-hand corner, you see these new icons in 2016, and one of them has uh, looks like a picture of two people on it. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you can see I have no contacts currently in my list. So if I want to create a contact, I can just right-click and choose New Contact. And the New Contact box appears. So we'll go ahead and put in the, uh, the name here. And it automatically fills in the file as. If I like the way that looks, I can also change it around to first name, last name. Okay, I put in the job title. Put in the name of the company. And now I'm going to put in the email address. Now when I click on display as, it automatically adds uh, the display from file as uh, or from the name at the top to the, uh, you, the email address itself. Now if I have any kind of web page address, if they, uh, if they happen to have a website, we can go ahead and put, type that in there. If they have an instant messaging address, we can put that there as well. Uh, if they have a business phone number, of course they, I'm sure they do. Just a made-up number there. You can try calling that number if you want, but they'll have no idea who you are. Uh, if they have a home, fax, or mobile number, you can click that in the, there as well. And if you want, you can change that uh, to be a different type of number. And you, if in case they have two mobile numbers, for instance, you can put that there. And then uh, let's put in the address. All right, and then you can check the box for this is the mailing address if you want. And if you want, you can even click map it on here. I don't think it'll find it, but we can go ahead and click map it, and it will try to find uh, that particular location. So it could not find the exact uh, location, so it sort of gave us a general area in Portland. All right, so uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got some notes, and we can say this is a good guy to call for widgets. Okay, fix the typos there. Very good. So you can see it shows up as a business card in the uh, right hand side. Uh, you can do some other things such as cr uh, send the person an email. And you can, oh, we got to save our item first. Let's go ahead and save it. Now we can click there. It automatically creates an email to that user, which is pretty cool. We can set up a meeting. So it goes into my calendar and goes ahead and sets up a meeting for any date or time I want. And it'll send that to that person if I'd like to. Um, we've got some other options. We can add a picture, for instance. So if the uh, person has a picture of himself, we can go ahead and find that and choose and click there so that way we can see who, what that person looks like. You can set uh, follow-up flags to remind you to uh, call this person or uh, email them. Uh, you can also set it to private so if you share your, your contacts nobody else can see that but you. Uh, you can also uh, zoom in if you want to see things a little more clearly there. You can change that as well. You can insert things like you can attach a file. If you want to attach a file, then you can certainly do that. Um, so we'll just go ahead and click that. And we can put in a table, pictures, lots of other things we can do here. We can also change the text formatting if, if we want to make it a little bit easier to see. And we can make the text larger or smaller here as well. And when you're all done creating the contact, just go ahead and click Save. And you can also just go ahead and click close or click the X. And now that contact is saved.